Hot 1041, STL's number one for hip-hop and R&B. Hey, what's up? It's Shea Bay with you. And I am backstage with Bobby V after yeah. his killer performance at the Ladies R&B Kickback concert. Bobby V, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. You killed this show. Thank You've you. been killing it on stage for the past number of performances. How have you yes. been feeling on this tour? Uh, it's been great, um, you know, um, amongst a lot of shows. I just came from Africa, about to go mm. to London. I mean, I'm everywhere, and it's a blessing to do what I love to do still um, this many years later. And at this, this stage, it's a blessing, and I'm thankful. And um, I never take it for granted, and um, it's, it's always a good time. Definitely. Yeah. So when you first were starting out, you tried out for American Idol. Simon Kyle didn't believe in you. Do you feel like he believes in you now, or have you <laughs> caught up with him since then? Um, no. And you know what? I'm glad that that didn't work out. I think in life things happen how, how they're supposed to and that was mm -hmm. just that was just a stepping um, stone for me and um, I actually think I didn't make it because my last name is Wilson and by the time they got to me they had already picked everybody and when oh, they got to the me end. but then I look back at it though I didn't do that good I was so nervous um, but it was a great learning experience for me and I had a lot of fun so I'm glad that um, things worked out how they did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So would you try out for like a show now, or would you be a judge on one? I'd be a judge, but there's no need to try out. For no need, one. just for fun, like the Mass Singer. Oh, I love to do the Mass Singer. Mass Singer, that would be cool. please have me. We're trying to do that. <laughs> Mass Singer, definitely. What would you dress up as? I don't know if they let them know. pick. I don't know. You don't have like a favorite animal? I don't know. I don't even know. Whatever they have. I'm with it, and um, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to do the mass thing. Yeah, like, no, that would be super cool. Yeah. I feel like you would make it to the end. Yes, me too. <laughs> so definitely hit Bobby V up. That's right. <laughs> so you've been on tour. You said you were just in Africa. Where's a place you've never been to before that you want to go on tour to? Um, uh, I've been to so many places. A lot of places are amazing. I don't know if there's somewhere. I just like to go where the water is blue. So wherever the water okay. blue. I want to go do another show there, and I've been in a lot of places where the water is blue, but um, I definitely want to go everywhere, so I'm, okay. I'm in, yeah, that's cool. Now, a reminder, you're in St. Louis, but what's your best fan base? Like, where is your biggest fan base at? St. Louis showed out tonight. <laughs> St. Louis showed yeah. clean out tonight, so I'm going to have to show St. Louis is probably one of the top we Top love to tiers. hear it. We love yeah, to hear St. Louis was so fun tonight. <laughs> I had a good time. For sure. And your style, you had this jacket that you were wearing and, of yeah. course, these killer jeans. Where do you yeah. actually get your outfits from? Um, I, I style myself. I'm always okay. going on different websites and finding different things and just trying to find different outfits and put things together. So I love to dress myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, like, best dressed in eighth grade. Really? Yes, and that was in the eighth grade. So Eighth grade? Yes. Not so. beyond that? Well, after that, I got in the group. Missed her, and then uh -huh. like I didn't get a chance. So, okay. but but I but knew, now you're showing out. Now I get to I, now Whatever I get to grade be, you're in. What yeah. grade would you be in? What grade I'm in now? <laughs> Past a senior in a thousand <laughs> colleges right now. <laughs> senior, <All right>. senior <laughs> citizen. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now you know you're from um, ATL, shall ATL, yes, you're from ATL. And Changi's from here. He uh, grew up kind of with you, I would say, yeah. in the same time with Disturbing the Peace. Yes. How's your relationship with Chingy? Chingy, my homeboy, man. Me and Chingy talk a lot. Um, he's just a cool dude, very knowledgeable guy. Uh, he's a guy that likes to study, and I love people like that that like to think outside of the mm. box. So Chingy's definitely a dope guy just mentally, and it's more than just his rap skills. Him as a person, an individual, is a dope brother. So that's a shout-out to Chingy, man. That's my homeboy. He started in DTP, and then I came after him some years later, and um, just the DTP family was just very dope. So it, it was fun. That's Chingy's awesome. Cool. And a lot of the, like, rumors and drama that y'all have been going through have been the same. Do you feel like that relates back to DTP or – no, you know, I, it's just something that is coming, like, you know, from off the media. I just think um, the media likes to blow things up, and they, they, they like shock value stories. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, these stories with shock value um, gets more attention. So, you know, that's just the way the world works, especially now with social media and all of that. So with that, you just have to be strong and know who you are and believe in yourself, and that's what it is. Definitely. So yeah. you're single now. What do you look for in a woman? Smart, intelligent, got her own things going, um, fun, beautiful, loves to take care of herself, um, and just a cool young lady that's all about me and okay. nobody else. So your DMs are open? DMs is open. <laughs> Definitely DM Bobby. It's Bobby V Show on Instagram. What else are your other social medias? Bobby V Show. Just hit me on the gram. Once you hit me on the gram, everything else will fall into place. So 
make sure y'all just check me out and um, hit me up. Make Definitely. sure you press that follow button. You'll see everywhere <laughs> I'm going, what I'm doing, and you know, I'm moving around, I'm everywhere. I wanted to ask you, what's your top three songs? I know everybody has their own top three of your own favorites, but what are your top three? I mean, to perform, of course, we like the beep, beep, slow down, tell mm -hmm. me, Miss Officer. But my favorite song. Okay. You can be on three. <laughs> my top three Bobby V songs. <clears throat> my top three Bobby V songs, If I Can't Have You is one, okay. Words is one. Um, these are all songs that's on the album. And I'm gonna have to say Slow Down because that's the one that really got me out of my mama basement. Okay, cool. So those are probably my top three favorite songs that I've done. Definitely. So you said an album come out. What's on the way for you? It's a new live, new live album I just dropped. It's with a live band. Um, it was from one of my live performances. And it's out right now, so you can download that. We got a lot of movies. We got some. Uh, we got a Tubi movie coming out. We got some reality TV we're working on. So we got some things in the work. Definitely. So Bobby V on the rise in 2024. Do not forget about him. Make sure you follow him on social media. I'm going to let you get your rest because you are still, you know, getting off the of stage. So thank you so much for chatting with me today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> cool.